Thank you. So if Lauri brought you the sunshine, I hope I'm not the moonlight, but uh, continue on the uh, brighter side of life. Uh, first of all, thanks to Lauri for this uh, valuable work you have done for evaluating the initiative. And then I will just shortly tell you about another evaluation, which is the basis for the, the awards we are uh, handing out today. Uh, I will not go into the details. This report will also be available in, uh, on the internet. Uh, it's already there. It was an evaluation process on the organizations. We heard from the panel and also from the evaluation Lauri conducted that it, the organization has to commit. It has to have a strategic and tactic uh, uh, attitude towards the uh, openness um, goals. And this just shows you how we did it. There was first a preliminary phase where we collected data publicly available uh, and sort of made, made the, the uh, preliminary analysis uh, uh, of the uh, openness stage based on that uh, information gathered. And then the organizations had an option to correct and complement the data we found publicly available. And then the final analysis was conducted in the ministry and the ATT initiative. Uh, this is not an analysis in the sense that there will be lots of conclusions. It's only, uh, uh, it's m more about the phase of openness and the, the stage where the organizations are and we don't have uh, uh, any conclusive uh, part in the, in the report. That's not what it, the evaluation was meant for. We had all the research performing public organization in the Finnish system apart from the National Defense University and the Police Academy. So 14 universities, 24 uh, universities of applied sciences, five university hospitals and 12 research institutions, which means the state research institutes mainly um, and some other institutions as well. And we wanted to get a clear picture of where the institutions are we, uh, as for openness. Uh, we wanted to evaluate the progress. The change is always interesting. And we wanted to get an idea of the strengths and weaknesses and the support and cooperation, required support and cooperation status in these matters. Twen uh, the response rate to the uh, complementary phase was uh, uh, 87%. Then we had funding organizations, uh, five, uh, four, uh, three from Finland, the Academy of Finland and TECES, which uh, operate on the state budget uh, allocations, and Kone Foundations, which, which is one of the prominent foundations, private foundations we have in the field in Finland. Then we had eight peers from the uh, near vicinity of Finland, so neighboring countries and, and uh, Austria. They are shown that the organizations are shown in the next slide. And here also we wanted to get a picture of, of what is the level of openness at na national research funding organizations, compare uh, what, what our situation is with the selected uh, set of peers in Europe, uh, we wanted to get an idea of national strengths and weaknesses and again what kind of uh, support is needed and, and how do these organizations cooperate. These are the foreign uh, peers we used. Uh, so there was Danish, uh, Norwegian, Swedish and Austrian uh, counterparts for our, our institutions and then um, other well-recognized uh, peers. This is not a qualitative uh, analysis on the work that these organizations conduct. It's a mirror. So by showing where the others are, as for openness, uh, you get an idea of your own position and um, yeah, maybe get ideas of what to do next. And uh, this is not a ranking. And uh, it says here that there's no direct, direct steering activities uh, based on these results. Uh, this is actually not quite completely true because the ministry uses these results in the per, um, uh, performance negotiations with uh, higher education institutions, 
we just in October negotiated with all 24 uh, universities of applied sciences for the strategic goals of next four years and the funding that uh, comes from the state budget for the, the same year, 17 to 20. And uh, each of the universities of applied sciences has in the uh, contract a goal for openness by 2020. And uh, this is one of the very concrete measures that uh, the current government is very keen on. It will be checked by the end of the, the funding period, whether this uh, status was reached or not. And uh, maybe some actions will follow. Usually actions from our side mean money, more money. That's very seldom less money. We won't withdraw anything from the organizations in, in, uh, as for these goals. But anyways. This is not used to steer the other organizations, but, but uh, it's used, used as an indicator for the higher education institutions. And you will be uh, getting a, a copy of these slides and, and the uh, internet locations of the report are indicated on this slide. And this is just uh, to show what kind of uh, indicators and scoring principles we used, we were interested in issues like who or what sets the, the goals of openness for an organization, uh, how is it followed, how is it uh, supported and promoted, and how are the competencies developed in the organizations. More about this it will be uh, opened in the, in the actual report. And then there's two slides showing just the positions of the institutions we uh, were interested in. And the, uh, well, the conclusion from this slide may could be that there's room on the top. Uh, very different types of organizations. It would be easy to draw intuitive conclusions, but uh, I will not go into that. It's <laughs> it's waste of your time. And uh, here's a similar picture on the uh, universities, universities of applied sciences, our research institutes, and university hospitals. And for example, the university hospitals are all, uh, three of them are here, level one, and two are here, level two. And there's obvious reasons for that as well. It's very intuitive, but uh, we are, the current government and the previous one in Finland were, have been very interested in uh, developing the system as a whole and bringing the research performing organizations close, closer together than, than has been the tradition. And let's see how the collaborative efforts will, will change this picture when, when the evaluation will be repeated, not next year, but before the uh, before 2020, anyways, we will do something similar and meanwhile something different, but more about that when, when it emerges. And then to the, to the uh, awards, I need my glasses and they are incompatible with this uh, microphone phone system, so forgive me for my uh, hair. <laughs> uh, something is dropping, but anyways, uh, the awards. We will hand an award to two universities, Lappeenranta University of Technology and University of Oulu, as they were the uh, two universities that managed to make considerable progress in a year. And we appreciate this effort and believe that the new capabilities in these universities help also researchers, not just the institutions, to be uh, more recognized also in the more global or international setting. And uh, we have been told that Laura Lares from Lappeenranta University of Technology will uh, be here for, for the university. And let's start. <laughs> And maybe you tell what it is. It's okay, okay, so we have here a compass. Oh. You are <laughs> heading in a good direction. Keep that direction. <laughs> 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 
and yeah, and also flowers. And <laughs> I have my hands full already, so we'll continue. I would very warmly like to thank the ministry for taking and launching this very important initiative. And also on the behalf of our university, thank you for this recognition. We now have the campus. We are only at the level four, so we will continue because of you. And I'd also very much like to thank all our good people from La Peranta University. Some of you are here. You made this possible. We also, we always know that a big commitment in the top makes a big difference, but we know that in implementation, small is all, hundreds of small details. Thank you for our researchers, our library people, our staff and our students. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> and then University of Oulu. And uh, we have been informed that Aya Ryyppö and Mari Katvala will be uh, here for the... Hän pitää puheen. No sekin on työjako. Honored guests, dear audience. University of Oulu wishes to thank Ministry of Education and Culture and Open Science Initiative for this award. This is an honor and we are very grateful, grateful for it. The development of open science has accelerated significantly in recent years in Finland. During 2015 and 16, University of Oulu has systematically built the conditions and services to support open science. We have accepted data policy and publication policy. At present, we are preparing research plan research data action plan and during current year we have launched the parallel publishing service for our researchers. Knowledge and familiarity of open science has been promoted by arranging trainings, events and trials. University of Oulu continues investing in open science by innovatively creating and developing open science services. Thank you. Thank you. And there's no organization that does something without people. It was also obvious from the uh, short speeches uh, given by the, the previous winners that people make the difference. And thus we also have a category of awards for uh, persons and, and their groups. And the first uh, award in this category will go to Selina Päällys, Aho, Jaana Latvanen and work group from Seinäjoki University of Applied Sciences. Thank you very much. This is a great honor. We really appreciate that. Uh, I would like to thank our team members. So, Jaana Latvanen from Seinäjoki University of Applied Sciences, Anne Kärki, Satakunta University of Applied Sciences, Eero Pekkarinen, Lapland University of Applied Sciences, he's not present, Pekka Lahti, Haakahelia, University of Applied Sciences. I would also like to thank Arene, especially Riitta Rissanen, for supporting this project. All the Finnish universities of applied sciences have taken part to this work, and this will give us motivation to continue. Thank you very much.
in one word. On the behalf of our team, I would give my special thanks to Selina Pärlösa, who has made a great work when leading this project. Thank you, Selina. Thank you. And then finally, Mikko Tolonen and his research group from the University of Helsinki will get the prize for going there where no one has gone before, in digital humanities. We had a slide, I don't know if that's possible to get. Okay, but I mean, first, uh, as you know, there's a petition going around for researchers to express their worry about the rising cost of scientific publishing. Uh, you, you're all aware of this, right? Uh, so, so by today, more than 400 people, I mean, it just started, and more than 400 people have actually signed it. And instead of just patting ourselves on the back that, that <laughs> researchers care, as they do, it's very, very important that we now seize the moment. I mean, as I see, the ATT initiative is fabulous, excellent, but, but we really need to make people understand that sharing the research data and, and, and open data in, in, in general is what makes the difference. And this is where we need the people who aren't initiated yet in open science. They're the ones who will make the difference. And uh, in our modest ways, we, we, this is what we try to do. Uh, I'd like to, I mean, about our team, I, I really want to underline that, that this is something that we started together with Leo Lahti, uh, who's a scientist, I'm the humani humanities person there, and, and we're trying to build bridges, not, not to burn too many, many, although that ha also happens every now and then, but, but so, so that we want to implement the best practices of open science to humanities, which isn't always easy, and, and it really needs a cultural change. And that only happens through concrete research. So when the results actually show to those people who don't care about <coughs> open science is that this is the better way to do, then we are somewhere. And we feel that we have only started, so the goals are in front of us, but this is also where we need the support the most, perhaps, when, when we're maybe in, still in, in the in initial stages. Uh, so, so we're very grateful. We're supported by a lot of people, all of you probably will end up being in our research group in, in the end, and, 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 and institutions and so forth. So, so I won't name any more names, but Leo, I wish that he could have been here, because this would have meant for him a whole lot. Uh, but he's in Belgium, but I will give him actually the compass. So, so thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.